earlier I said there's one thing that we have to, as a consequence of the crisis, we, there's one thing we have to put into our models, which is financial sectors, financial frictions. Actually, I, I, I think there are two things. I should have said two things. It's also labor market. We may need a more sensible, uh, ma we need a more sensible vision of the labor market when we think about, uh, when, we, when we build DSGE models. And both of those areas are going to get a lot of attention in, in future years. We're not there, we don't have the right or best models of macroprudential available yet, but I believe those will come on, on, online soon. In the case of the labor markets, there's a need to develop the models on those dimensions as well. And I believe there's going to be a, a renaissance in, the, uh, in thinking about labor markets in the context of these models. The, the need comes from various uh, sources. One is that labor markets have been behaving very peculiarly, at least in the United States, in recent years. So what you observe in, uh, since 2008 is a very big decline in labor force participation. Now, partly that can be explained by demographic factors, but not entirely. It seems to have something to do with the, the business cycle. And even as we enter the expansion, supposedly entering the expansion, we still find that labor markets, labor force participation is surprisingly weak. And our models are not designed to address that. And I think it's important to, to understand uh, that problem. A related question is a more direct policy question, which is in, in, uh, in the last few years, actually in every business cycle recession, there always erupts a debate. Uh, there's a lot of unemployed people. Shouldn't we increase unemployment benefits to help them out? And then the debate is, no, you shouldn't do that because if you pay more money to unemployed people, you'll just get more unemployed people and you'll make the economy recession worse. Uh, or the other side says, no, uh, this won't have any effect on unemployment, you'll just make them uh, better off. There's this debate about this. And the purpose of DSG models is to participate in debates, play a role in debates, to help organize debates, help quantify the pieces, which, is, which force, I just described two forces on the labor market, which one is more important. And models, the current models are not well designed for that. However, those models are now in the construction phase. I myself have been involved, I guess, th in three papers. I have three papers out now all about how to think more clearly about uh, labor markets, and I think this is another, this is another area that's a, that's a big importance uh, from the point of view of the future.